Welcome back, everyone, to Third Street Reactions. I'm Zach. Shane. We are back with The Bad Batch, Season 1, Episode 15. Do you remember what happened in the last episode? We lost Hunter. We, we didn't lose him. But the team lost him. He was separated. He was separated. <laughs> you say you lost him, it sounds like... We, yeah, he's, he's still we, in... We lost Hunter. He's in Crosshair's grasps yeah. now. Clone um, Drooper Heaven. The Kaminoans, they, things are going downhill for them pretty fast. It looks like the Prime Minister kind of uh, bit the dust. Is that what they say? Yeah, bit the dust, kicked the bucket. Well, he didn't kick the bucket of his own volition or even by natural causes. It looks yeah. like they, he was whacked. Yeah, so we didn't see uh, the, you know, the killing blow. I don't remember if we ever see him again. I think he's dead, though. Mm -hmm. I, 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 as far as I know, we haven't seen him in season two at all. So he's probably dead. And yeah. Makes sense. It was a good scene to end it on. You don't see it happen. Yeah, you, you don't always you, need to. But you never see it uh, him again. Anyway. Uh, before we jump in, if you guys want to support us... We literally uh, talked enough, said nothing about the last episode. No, we, we, we talked about uh, Hunter being gone. We talked about the Cam and Owens. And, um, <laughs> and I mean, honestly, there's not much else besides Gregor. I mean, you have Project War Mantle and Gregor. Yeah. And... Go check out that post talk because it's actually pretty good. You should. It's a lot more informative than this tangent. Yes. So we're jumping in now. I don't want to get her and Boba Fett in the same room. The I just nearly finished getting the systems online. I left Gregor with Sid. She wasn't too happy about it. What else is new? Gregor's with yeah, Sid. Okay. Ready. Let's go get Hunter. What do you mean? Where is he? What a miserable place. It used to be a lush world. Yeah. Yeah. Even I can't remember what happened. Some kind of apocalypse or something, but even the Kaminoans kind of like they had, they were actually on this planet, like they were evolving into something else or something. Yeah. Where are the rest of them? They'll be here. Stay on schedule. Schedule. <laughs> I do like how they say schedule. I question the clone's motives with his old squad. I don't trust any of them. If his plan fails, none of them will be a problem any longer. The Empire wants us to come to Camino. I'm uncertain as to why. No, turn him back now. <laughs> Are you positive about these He's particularly groggy yes. there. Yeah. Hang on. This is going to get bumpy. God, yeah, because turbulence would be nuts. Have you ever flown with bad turbulence? Yeah, actually, the first time you flew, right? Yeah. Fucking off. I remember you told me <laughs> you were never going to fly again. And you have, though, since I have, but it's, I hated it. I love rain in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Landing was only one problem. How are we going to get into the city? We'll take the tube system. The what? Can you close the fucking ship up. Yeah, you get wet. Water all over the front door. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, she's lived her whole life and knows all the ins and outs. The transport system is not documented on any schematics. Kaminoans keep a lot of secrets. Indeed. Saving Hunter is what matters. You always want to know more instead of We're all knowing ways. too much, but I feel like there's so much history here. Mm -hmm. Not the ones that matter. We didn't have a choice. I did. I'll pinpoint his location. Sorry about the rain, guys. It's just it's raining. What's so special about this land? It's where I was created. You? I was there. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Is that true? Mm -hmm. How could I possibly know that? <laughs> it was only for a short time. Before you were sent to be with the other clones. Something's not right. Hmm. Omega, I am relieved it is you. What are you doing down here? Soldiers were deactivating droids and forcing key Kaminoan medical personnel onto transports. We must leave. We can't. Not without Hunter. Can't you see they're using you? 
It's that inhibited chip in your head. It's making you fall. We have an unauthorized entry on platform five. During uh, Lords of the Sith, it's a really good book. Palpatine kind of uncared, not in a bad way, uncharacteristically goes on planet with Vader for a mission because it's of vital importance. Mm -hmm. They're actually at a campfire and they're stranded here. He tells his the, the stormtroopers, take you. You guys must be just basically tired with your helmets. I'll go ahead and take them off. And he says right in front of Vader and Vader picks up on like... If he can't. Yeah. And, he, and Palpatine's fucking with him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's waiting. Precisely. I will not be going in through the main entrance like you would expect. Omega, wait here. No, we should stick together. No, that goes right. Cross has after us, not you. Stay out of sight. <sighs> Things go south. Well, guess you're wrong about that. <laughs> and here we all are. Together again. See? Following orders isn't so difficult. Where's your little sidekick? You think we bring her here? We're smarter than that. Lying was never your strength, Rekka. <laughs> it's like you really feel the history between them, you know? Mm -hmm. Those are the training droids they have to fight against? Yeah. I just... I love the training room. Like, because we had it in Clone Wars, we had it here. When they're being tested by Tarkin. Kill us. If I wanted you dead, you would be. Not that it wouldn't be justified. You betrayed everything we stood for. I was one of you. You may have forgotten, but I haven't. I'm going to give you what you never gave me. A chance. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sir, I found the girl. You want to protect the kid and let her go? Stop pretending to be something you're not, Hunter. Think of all we could do together. We were brothers once. We can be again. More compelling than you think it would be, because he's you see the hurt he has. Why would we trust you? Stand down. Negative commander. That's cool. It's an ocelot moment right there. Yeah. Hmm. I think that'd kill your ass. Like a car hitting you. I did it. <laughs> did it. But the first time I satisfied a woman. I did it. Don't become my enemy. You never were. I believe you may have activated a few too many droids. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder where the hell that thing is, but she pulls it out. He's on her back. Yeah. I mean, well, she's been carrying around. Right? Fucking okay, working together, Zach. Mm -hmm. In the training room. That's where it started. Yeah. Just a rat. Run yeah. around, ratting. <laughs> Cheese eating. Fucking <laughs> rat. All essential personnel have been removed from Camino. And the chief scientist? Secured. Move into position. It's too cool of a shot. It's great. Making the choice. Hunter, three planets are descending on the city. We need to leave now. Okay, grab Crosshair. Me. <laughs> well, they've all been pretty sentimental about him. 
So I yeah. wonder. I think at least nodding in approval. You're going that because of the show? Yeah, just, <laughs> it's showing all it's showing all the kind of mm -hmm. iconic shots of the We're in position. Open fire. Terrible. Yeah. All right. It just always gets to me when I see that scene. It's a cool scene. But it visually represents like the end of the clone era. Yeah, it's the death of the clone era. Um, yeah. And there are also uh, millions of embryos there as well, and halfway to and babies and tanks and. Mm -hmm. You know, and some people have say like, well, you know, what other non-essential things were not? Because he said all essential personnel was evacuated. Like Topoka City is is huge. There are, there are other facilities there, but Topoka City is the main one. Mm. That's where the pedo operations is. Um, I wonder if there were, you know, they evacuated the kids because like well, we can use these kids, mm. but would they evacuate like the one-year-olds? You know? I don't know. I mean, they're not going to show that on here, but it just no. They made it seem like the place was empty. I, I think it feels that way for sure. Yeah. And um, but uh, yeah, it's just this episode to me always. I mean, there are better, much better episodes than this probably in terms of like how they grab you emotionally. Mm -hmm. But this one just always grabbed me, like you know. Well, it's taking everything you had in the prequels. Yeah, it's like literally gunning it down. You had yeah. You know, the Order sixty six happened and the Jedi Order was wiped out. Yeah. And you had that as a representation of the end of the Jedi the and now this Jedi, is the end of the clones it's like the what do we have left yeah exactly so they're like phasing out we got Ahsoka that's it <laughs> more or less but anything it's a a systematic or a system yeah that was in place during the Republic it's like it just, was yeah it was also great to hear Tarkin's voice you know I know mm -hmm. that's not him but uh I, I like the impression I, I like the character and they use that voice for multiple you may fire when ready yeah, yeah. great line yeah I mean, he says it Obviously, uh, three times. This is the third time he said it. He said mm -hmm. it in Rogue One. He says it in A New Hope. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it sounded great. And then, honestly, like the obviously, I know. Pretty sure the Emperor says it too, in six. Fire when ready, Commander. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fire when ready. Him looking over like the thunderstorm and just the visual of. I mean, it was cool, but it was more sad to me than cool, and it was very cool. It was great. Made yeah. it. The confrontation with Crosshair was great. Yeah, what did you think of that? I liked it a lot because you can tell Crosshair was really trying to get through to him. Yeah, like he's, he's not like, just this on. evil, shitty guy. And yeah. and I, I do like the fact that it wasn't his chip. He had it removed, but now we don't know He probably when. wanted to be sure Yeah. that he was, his he convictions was the one making were right. decisions. Yeah. So, so it, it, it was after that moment, but after whatever happened after that moment, he still has these convictions. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and also the moment, like, I knew you'd love that, and he's done it one other time before, and he does even better ones later, where he's like, shooting the mirrors, and they reflect. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, that was <laughs> so awesome. cool. It, I said Ocelot does that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Master ricocheting bullets and shit, so it's, it was great. Yeah. Fucking great. It, it just bothered me, the, the pain that Omega had being here as well. Yeah, um, you can feel that. Not because she hated her life here. But uh, because of everything that's happened. Like, the clones, it, it's very clear in the Clone Wars and in the first few episodes of the Bad Batch, they really look at Kamino as home. Mm -hmm. So now they are all orphans. And mm -hmm. now they're all also being pushed out. Yeah. It's a pretty sad story. It is. Yeah. What we see in the Kenobi series, that is the fate of most of them. They're like organic droids. Yeah. Like they're just uh, mass manufactured for the war. Yeah. And then tossed. So now... They're without a home now. Then they're also going to be now without occupation. Like with Obi Wan yeah. and Obi Wan and Yoda, they know they're alive, but they just, yeah. just just could have assumed that they died. But before we see Obi Wan, you know, Obi Wan hasn't bought into the mission at all until like Episode Two. Mm -hmm. Like he's he's got PTSD. He 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 believes he's responsible for everything, mm -hmm. um, and he's just broken. So he's just relegated to like that clone just being uh, just these mentally broken veterans. Yeah. So, um... But I'm talking about from is, the Imperial perspective, though. Yeah. Especially the Emperor. It's probably like they're just, they're just a couple Jedi. They don't matter. Yeah. Like, the ones that survive... Now, I like your idea. Now, I, and it's funny enough, going forward, like, there are more things with droids that, that I think we see in maybe an animation. Mm -hmm. Might be in Rebels, but, but they do band together and stuff like that. Well, I'm just talking about, the, I know it's been referenced that there were Separatist droids. Yeah. 
that were left over after the war yeah and repurposed i think we even saw some of them here anyways um yeah i, I really like this penultimate episode so and there's we got one more looking forward to the finale yeah let's do that